So when Arthur was first diagnosed, we were utterly terrified and, and scared, but once we got onto the ward, we immediately fell to tease. So Arthur received the standard chemotherapy protocol for acute myeloid leukemia. So that was four intense rounds of chemotherapy in hospital. Each chemo round lasted approximately a month, uh, which was a week of chemo chemotherapy, three to four we weeks of recovery, and then a week's break at home. So all in all, we were in hospital for just under six months. He coped pretty well uh, with the treatment, considering how young he was. Uh, what he did struggle with was not having his sister there the whole time and his beloved dog. Arthur's doing really well today. He's boisterous, happy, energetic, um, loves the outdoors and playing with his pet dog. Uh, to look at him, you wouldn't think he'd been through intense chemotherapy. The reason me and my family decided to support Friends of Rosie was the fact that we see it as a very transparent charity. It's volunteer-led and everything that they raise goes into funding research into better treatments for childhood cancer. The startup research funding from Friends of Roisy allows me and researchers like me, possibly, um, to have some preliminary data to present when we're putting forward our ideas for these larger research grants, um, so that hopefully they can be considered favourably. Um, finding funding for new research ideas can be particularly hard. Um, one of the reasons for that is because when people are looking to give money for scientific research, they like to have a kind of safety barrier to know that the money that they're giving is going to give the rewards that you're promising. It's good to have a kickstart uh, to carry out a few experiments so you can see whether the ideas that you're hypothesizing um, correlate with that and make it more kind of um, a strong case when you're applying for funding. <laughs> 